What's up guys, Chris Darnett here for CarPlayer TV and we're continuing our series where we walk you through a big buy-in multi-day deep stacked event. Today we're going to talk about bubble play and we caught up with Hoyt Corkins to tell us how he takes advantage of players who want to make the money. Well, uh, I, you don't want to put people to the test a little bit more, you know, jeopardize their whole stack. And a lot of people don't, you don't want to finish, they want to cash. And so they got a little over half a million, somebody's got like 200,000. And uh, it would give me an opportunity to make my bet, you know, for it could force them to go all in. Okay. I fold their hand and most of them yeah. fold. Corkins also gives advice to beginning players on how to handle aggressive pros on the bubble. Uh, you know, play solid and uh, when it comes time to gamble, take your gamble and, uh, and you know, play more conservative probably about coming into pots. But when you do come into pots and they put you to the test, you know, just try to gamble more with them if you can. You know, it's a hard thing to do. Roy Winston also gives advice on how to play each type of stack at this stage of the tournament. That's a, that's, a, that's a good question. I think it depends where you are. If you're if you're a deep stack at this point, the bubble is the best place to be. When you have chips at the bubble, you can punish everybody else. You can put pressure on the short stacks uh, and the mid stacks, and just you just don't mess with the big stacks too much, and you can really dominate them. If you're a mid stack, it's hard because you're, the big stacks are going to punish you. So the big the mid stacks struggle, and the short stacks you're still going to have to gamble and throw it in if you if you have a hand that deems it. You know, I'm not going to throw away two kings on this level. Uh, I am going to put pressure pre-flop because after a flop my stack is short enough now that I may not have enough left to really put pressure on somebody. So if I pick up a big hand, hopefully there will be a raise in front of me and I'll be able to apply pressure and if I get a call, hopefully it holds up, but that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. And Phil Hellmuth just doesn't really care. I don't care about the bubble. It makes no difference to me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't, I, I don't care about fourth place. Second or third I care about because it pays a million. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't care about 4th place, 5th place, 100th place, 100th I don't care. Thanks for watching part 4, Bubble Play. To view parts 1, 2, and 3, make sure to check out the Strategy Channel. I'm Christiana at 4, Cardplayer TV.